Hey guys, I'm Tumin here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a great app. It's called Floating Widget. I think you guys will like it as well as I do, find it necessary for your phone. So without any further ado, let's begin this video. Alright guys, so before I begin this video, I actually wanted to ask you guys if you guys wanted like a, just a gameplay commentary uh, for Android. Uh, so I could do that. That's pretty easy for me. I could play Modern Combat 2 and show you guys how good I am and then actually just do a commentary while I play on Android apps. It, it doesn't have to be like online. It could be, uh, for example, it could be Tempo Run. It could be anything. So um, yeah, if you guys really want that, then just tell me in the comment section below. If you don't, it's fine. Uh, I'll just keep on doing tutorials. Just leave me in the comment section below. If you don't, just say no. If you do, then just say yes. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so right off the back, I'm just going to open up this app, and what this app is, is um, if you're familiar with Overscreen or AirCalc, it's basically the same idea or the same concept, except this time you can have floating widgets over any specific app. So for example, this lets you interact with any home screen widget while using any other app. So you can have a widget open while you're playing Temple Run. While you're playing Temple Run, you can have a little widget. and it never closes and it's just there for you to interact with it. So the first thing you gotta do when you open it up is the first thing you gotta select the widget. When you select the widget, you can choose from any widget you want, even from the big ones to the small ones. So I'm just gonna do a random one, for example, Google Music. And then once you select it, you're gonna, select, you're gonna set the location and then you're just gonna drag and move it wherever you want. So there it goes, I want it there. Then let's go back into the configuration and let's go into the settings. Right here you can choose the color options of the widget, uh, what you want the widget shadow. You can choose to move the widget bar, which I'm going to be showing you what it is in a minute. And then a move mode box, which I'm going to also show you in a minute. You can also have the widget option to hide on incoming calls or quit on screen off, so that way you don't waste battery. And then you have configuration screen, which has default or widget overlay service or the move mode screen. Start widget service. So you can see it's there and right now you can see that you think it's a widget right there but if we scroll it never goes away and it's always there if I want I can hold it there and I can drag it on top right there so as you can see on the top it's a little dark on the top I don't know I think you can see it and then when you t hold on the top you could actually drag and move the top in order to move the widget and the widget does work actually so if we press it see it starts playing the music. Go to the next one. You can see it works. And um, let's just go into a game, for example. I'm just going to be showing you that it does actually go over apps. And um, let's try this out. You can see it works, and um, it works over any game, any single game that you have, every single app. So let's just try this out. It also works over any YouTube video. You can see that there's a little difference in the transparent mode. So the bottom transparent that is a little more uh, transparent, you can see, is actually the part that doesn't let you interact with the video. It just lets you interact with uh, the widget. So you can see it works on every single video. If you go into your notifications, you have right there floating widget. You can select quit or hide or reconfigure. So let's just let's just select another widget. So there you go. I chose another widget, and uh, you can see that it actually does work. I have uh, my power control, and I could actually uh, reconfigure everything. And let's just go back here, and let's just go into the camera mode. Let's see if it actually works in the camera. And um, you can see you can still take a picture and then the picture still works just fine. You can even do it in Google Maps and the app is always there. So I, I like it, it's pretty cool. Um, well, this app does cost $1.40, but as you can see, as I showed you, it's actually pretty cool and necessary. So with Floating Widget, you can do all of these things and plus more. You can email the developer, link is down in the description if you have any bugs or any feedback on what the application could do to make it better. And um, the only requirement that you actually do need is 2.0 or higher. So I'm um, sorry if you have 1.6 or above, but it's time to get a new phone, guys. 
yeah, if you want floating widgets on any application or any media or anything, then just go check out Floating Widget, a dollar and forty cents in the Android market. Hope you guys like this review. More reviews to come, more views to come, and um, yeah. So uh, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you like it. Please make sure to subscribe, comment, and rate this video. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Uh, those two things are necessary to stay updated with us all the time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow!